7 luxury items that are totally worth it. If you're going to spend it, you might as well spend it well, starting with a pair of classic flats. Friends, it doesn't matter whether they are pointed toe like these or round toe, because honestly, let's face it, season after season, you're going to hear, oh, the round toe is out, pointed toe is in, or like we are currently hearing now in this season, the round toe ballerina flat is all back. It really doesn't matter. Just find a pair that's very classic, very timeless, one that you absolutely love and therefore you'll wear it season after season and it doesn't really matter. And you'll wear them until they fall apart. And even then, if you love them that much, just take them to a shoe cobbler and get them resuscitated and you'll just keep on wearing them. So a pair of classic flats is an absolute must. Sunglasses. Now friends, I'm gonna say something that some of you may not like, but that's okay. I do not like cheap sunglasses. I said it, yes. I do not like cheap sunglasses because they are just what I said, they're cheap. Now don't get me wrong, there is a time and a place for dupes, and there are some great ones out there. For example, going to the pool, going on vacation, you don't wanna worry about scratching them, losing them, or sitting on them. That makes perfect sense. But friends, when it comes to your everyday life, you need to invest in a good pair of quality shades. There's just something about them. They look different, they feel different, the lens are different. They are just all around, you know, such a great investment because you're going to wear good sunnies year round. I shared a video back in the summer about, you know, some of my favorite designs and some of my favorite sunglasses. Go and watch that one next. It's not something, again, that's you know just related to summer because once you have really great sunglasses, you're going to wear them again year round. So make sure that you definitely invest in at least one pair of good quality sunglasses. Oh, and hey friends, by the way, my name is Heather. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I simply love sharing my love for Lux, especially when it comes to handbags, shoes, beauty, and wardrobe essentials. I've made some great decisions over the years, but I've also made some failures as well. So if you too have a love for Lux, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Now let's get back into today's video with the luxury items that are worth it. Luxury skincare. Now friends, I'm not talking about designer skincare because let me let you in on a little secret. Most of the designer skincare is absolute garbage. It's filled with things that you don't even need and will actually cause more harm than good. So if you have luxury skincare, don't go toss it out, finish it up, but then you really need to up your game and get some things that are better quality and more nourishing for your skin. These are some examples of products that honestly I've been using over the last couple of months I got them after getting a hydrofacial, which by the way, if you haven't done that, it's totally worth the money. Um, I plan to share more on that as well as these products later, but friends, these have been a game changer and I literally have some of the most sensitive skin on my face in the world. Too much sun when I was younger, not against the sun, it's still a great thing, but I didn't quite take care of the face when it came to the sun when I was a little younger and so now it's really sensitive. But these products, again, like I said, are the ones that I've been using over the last couple of months and they are so worth it. So friends, invest in great quality skincare. Your face will thank you for it. And friends, up next, two words, Lululemon and Spanx. Yes, you need to invest in good quality leggings. I would suggest the Align Leggings by Lululemon. I just bought this pair recently while in Charleston. I'll be sharing a recap of that trip coming up soon, um, especially with the items that I picked up from Lululemon. But friends, these are buttery soft and they really last. If you wash them on like delicate hand wash cycle and then hang them up, they're gonna really last you and they look great with sneakers, with boots even, and running errands, lounging around the house, they're just perfect. And you also need the Spanx leggings. Friends, I've had the faux leather Spanx leggings for years now, and I have several pair and a couple of different styles as well. They're so easy to dress up and just elevate when going out for dinner, whatever you wanna wear them for. They're absolutely perfect. And friends, let's face it, if you get a great pair of leggings, they also make your butt look really good, so there's that. 
and cashmere sweaters. Friends, I can't say enough about how important it is to have some cashmere sweaters in your wardrobe. If you get the right quality that's on point, they will not itch. They will again feel so luxurious and buttery soft. And if you take care of them, they will last you season after season. The only thing I would also recommend is when you find a great one, buy it in multiple colors like I did here. I actually found these at the Theory Outlet in Las Vegas, which I will also share a recap of that as well coming up, so stay tuned. But friends, they were such a great deal that I bought multiple colors. So you can't go wrong when finding great quality cashmere sweaters. Fine jewelry. Friends, when you invest in fine jewelry, you are choosing to invest in something that's timeless and classic that you can wear regardless of the season, regardless of the outfit. It just never goes out of style. So for example, and I've had several of you guys ask me about this, this is a David Yurman ring and I've had it for many, many, many years. And friends, I wear it all the time and it doesn't matter if I am wearing a really fancy, like elevated look or I'm wearing sweats, it doesn't matter. Throw on some fine jewelry and you've instantly leveled up your look and it's just something that never, ever, ever goes out of style. So from earrings to rings, watches, bracelets, pick fine jewelry that you can wear for the rest of your life. Designer handbag. Friends, there's no way that I would discuss luxury items without mentioning a handbag. For an investment luxury handbag, go for classic, go for structure. You want to make sure that you keep those two things in mind. Those should be your initial thoughts when looking for a luxury handbag to invest in. Not the it bag of the moment. Can we say Gucci Marmont? Just a few short years ago, that bag had thrown up all over social media. But where is it now? That's right, no one's talking about that bag. Now friends, if you have that bag, that is wonderful. If you love it, do you, always do you. But we're talking about an investment luxury bag that you want to have season after season, year after year, that's timeless, and that is going to be something you will always want to pull out and carry, and that is why you want to stick to classic and stick to structure. My point in all this is, if you don't go for classic and structure and you do go for the it bag, before you know it, you're going to blink, that ship is going to have sailed, and then you can possibly be swimming in regret. Friends, how do I know this? Because I've done it a time or two. And thankfully, I had a friend who talked me off of the Gucci Marmot ledge because I almost did it with that bag. And that bag, friends, is simply just not me. I wouldn't be carrying it today. I probably would have already sold it by this point. So again, my point is with a luxury handbag to invest in, you just wanna make sure, again, that you're going for the classic, you're going for the structure, and you can't go wrong. You'll carry it year after year. Well, live your Lux Loves, and I'll see you in the next video.